How's it going, Reese Mac? Welcome back to another Dead by Daily related video today. So this should be talking about Dead by Daily or behaviors response to hackers and baiting the game and basically making a lot of experiences for online players pretty miserable. They created an article and they addressed this on Twitter the other day and I figured it'd be a good time to talk about what they were talking about so that people could have maybe a little bit of reassurance that Dead by Daily is trying their best to address the treaty situation. The article reads as follows. Cheating is an ongoing battle in any online game and Dead by Daily is no exception. There's a never-ending arms race between game developers and cheat makers to find and fix new vulnerabilities. Tackling these vulnerabilities has always been and will remain a top priority to us. Lately, many of you have shared your experiences at playing against cheaters and we have no intention to leave you in the dark. First and foremost, we are abundantly aware of the ongoing situation and we've been treating it very seriously. To put it bluntly, cheating sucks and while we have made many measures to prevent it, it frustrates us just as much as you to hear that someone ruined your experience. We tend to stay quiet when it comes to cheating to avoid giving cheat developers vital information. But given recent events, we've decided to pull back the curtain and shed some light on what we've been doing to combat cheating and what we'll be working towards moving forward. Please forgive any vague language in this post. We cannot share any information which could be used to make each of the cheat. Then he says how we deal with cheaters. And they have a little banner here that shows that they've had banned 200,000 cheaters and 50,000 so far this year alone. Before we continue reading this article, 50,000 cheaters in this year alone sounds like a big number, but I feel like realistically speaking, it's not. I'm pretty sure Call of Duty Warzone, for example, had built a band like millions of accounts, hundreds of thousands of accounts in like a, within a year span. 50,000 is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it's obviously good to ban cheaters of some degree. Personally, I don't think 50,000 is necessarily good when you're comparing other video game and developers studios together. And Behavior is not a small company anymore. They have plenty of resources and they should have been working on this a long time ago to create ways to ban cheaters on far larger skin. Down here it reads as follows. And Dead by Daily, we have zero tolerance for cheaters. Once we detect someone has cheated or is trying to cheat, their account is permanently banned for the game. There are a few ways that we address the cheats. Number one, automated bans. We work with our anti-cheat partner, Easy Anti-Cheat, to report and track new cheats. If the anti-cheat detects one of these being used, they are automatically banned. And before we move on to, from that, I've heard a lot of pretty bad things from Easy Anti-Cheat. It is pretty good for like your basic foundation of preventing cheaters from cheating in certain games, but Easy Anti-Cheat is not very great for the, the large scale amount of in-depth cheat creators that actually you know, attack the game as vulnerabilities and already know how to work around easy anti-cheat. Doing that and just working with simple but easy anti-cheat usually is not enough, but I digress and we'll read continuously. Number two, in-game countermeasures. We make changes to both game client and dedicated servers to prevent cheats from doing certain things. This lessens the impact of cheats and reduces the amount of damage they can do. This sounds a little bit cheesy. I don't necessarily know how they could be changing a client and dedicated servers to prevent cheaters from doing like specific actions. like. What you're necessarily are you preventing? Like a Michael Myers having like a hillbilly chainsaw? Like I don't think that's the worst of people's problems. I think the main thing is re regarding people's uh, ability to you know see through walls all the time, or you know speed around the map, or basically put survivors in any given state that they want to, or killers in any given stun state that they want to, to or basically troll and report the whole game, or the speed cheats allow survivors to run around endlessly without getting caught even from a killer with blood lust three it's kind of like i don't necessarily if you could put that as a as a list as a as an, as an attempt to stop cheaters and basically say that we are making adjustments to clients and dedicated service prevent you from doing certain things because clearly i don't think it's changing or altering the outcome of anything and number three manual bans we investigate reports and manually block cheaters this is crucial when when a new cheat is not yet been tracked by the anti-cheat. I'm looking at these three steps here, and personally, I don't necessarily understand uh, how this is a good thing when we only see 50,000 cheaters banned so far this year. Dead by Daily has been heavily prevalent in cheats for the past few years now, um, since the game has really blown up for popularity. If you're telling me that automated bans and manual bans together is only 50,000 in this year alone, and 200,000 since the game's inception, which came out in 2016, I mean, come on, we're in like like five, six years of a lifespan. I feel like it should be a much higher number, but I do appreciate the developer's willingness to try to be more open and communicative regarding the cheating situation and what their goals and strives are. Because I mean, we're at a point now where a lot of our top larger creators in within the scene, um, and even small creators, of course, like me, are trying to basically get a message to behavior that they gotta get their stuff together and get these cheaters under control. In the last seven days alone, we've banned over 2,000 cheaters, contributing to a total of 200,000 banned over the lifetime of the game. 
Additionally, we have continued to expand our team and processes to deal with cheaters more efficiently. There is still work to be done, but our team has made considerable efforts to strengthen various aspects of the game, such as preventing modifications to certain game files to block specific avenues for cheaters to exploit and lessen the impact of cheats that's, uh, that surface. Now, 2,000 in a week is not necessarily a bad thing, but what I think what is bad is if that's 2,000 cheaters combining automated bans and manual bans, that's where it gets pretty bad. Either A, their manual banners, uh, you, know, you know, their team to basically go through and try to manually find and locate and ban cheaters is pretty small, so they're not able to uh, ban that many. And this is just mostly the automated bans catching cheaters. Or the 2,000 cheaters being banned are likely the small uh, manual team doing their best to go through and ban all these people. And the easy anti-cheat, which I heard has not necessarily a great reputation for catching a lot of these in-depth cheaters, that AI easy anti-cheat automated system is probably not working very efficiently. Therefore, these 2,000 cheaters were probably mostly uh, could be manually banned. But we'll see. I have no idea. This is a lot of speculation. But overall, if this is like the combination of manual banning and automated banning, I think 2,000 in a week is not that much. Considering that by daily size, and that you know tens of millions of people that play the game so it says future improvements and we have another banner here that shows us a little timeline or a roadmap of what their goals are for the game we have live fixed various vulnerabilities we have fall 22 player sniping prevention that's not necessarily cheating but i understand what they're addressing in terms of a huge problem with that by deal like content creators like larger streamers etc being stream sniped and held hostage in video games by hackers that's a significant problem so although this is not about hacking specifically it's very related so i understand why they're talking about it which is good well player sniping prevention is a good idea fall 2022 additional fail safes that's not a bad idea either early 2023 improved support tools if that means that they have not basically created these support tools to just cheaters more efficiently already they're kind of behind, but again, I respect that they're at least grinding to try to get this stuff under control so that people feel a lot more reassured and people can have a lot more fun with the game. Obviously, they now have to address it because cheating has become so bad within their game that people are going to be fleeing the game in big droves, especially their streamers who get burnt down from the game, when a lot of the times they already have to deal with like MMR and skill-based matchmaking and you know repetitive play styles from other players and also now stream snipers and hackers basically holding them hostage in the game. I understand why they have to address this quickly because the streamers and content creators that give them exposure for the game and keep the game feeling alive are getting burnt out and frustrated and also their own players on every forum and community page are also getting frustrated too early 2023 player report feedback again we've had like report features in the game for a long time now they've absolutely meant nothing like I don't, i'm surprised we're taking this long to actually make you know make anything come out of this then we got beyond continued support which is i guess a mixture of all the things to try to continue and make the ongoing efforts for banning cheating better. So they're going to have anti-cheat updates, manual bans, and in-game countermeasures. It says, going forward, we plan to further bolster the game against cheaters. This will be done in various ways. First, we will continue to identify and fix vulnerabilities to limit the effects of cheats. This includes additional measures to prevent player sniping, forcefully joining a specific player's lobby. Uh, the first version of this fix is currently slated for this fall and will continue to monitor the situation to ensure that it does not resurface. Fixes like these will be an ongoing process. Second, we'll be adding failsafes to commonly exploited portions of the game. For example, should the match ever be, be continued beyond the end game collapse for longer than 5 minutes, the game will all forcibly end. Additionally, additionally the max game time will be reduced from 2 hours to 1 hour or less. This particular change is planned for this quarter, 2022, and further measures are being explored. There we will continue to implement server-sided validation when possible. This takes authority away from the cheater's game client and puts it on the dedicated server, making cheating much more difficult. This is an ongoing process. Fourth, we will have improvements in the works for both the player support tools to better deal cheats internally. An end-game report system to give you a feedback on the player you've reported was banned. Player reports are a key center of cheap prevention measures, and I've been providing this feedback is essential to let you know that your reports are being dealt with seriously. These improvements are scheduled for quarter one, 2023. Beyond in-game improvements, we'll be communicating on our progress against cheats more regularly as part of our developer updates and beyond. We want to keep you in the loop and share as much information as we safely can. But last but not least, we want to stress that they are by no means the only measures we are working on, but rather the ones that we can safely share with you at this time. How you can help. While cheating will always be dealt with as swiftly as possible, your help is invaluable. There are a few ways you can help uh, is, you know, you can help fight against cheating. The best way to help is to use the end-game report system. These reports are critical and help us identify possible cheaters. If you have a video of somebody cheating, you can also send it to our support team through this link. Beyond reporting cheating, 
you encounter our support team is always available should you have any information on potential exploits or cheats fostering a safe cheap free experience in Dead by is and will always be a top priority for the team as with many as with any online game cheating is an ongoing battle we remain committed to making cheating as difficult as possible we've been working diligently to limit the number of impact of cheats and we hope that this post shares some insight into the work that we've been doing behind the scenes going forward we hope to keep you in the loop with regular communications regarding cheating and share as much info as we safely can until next time the dead by daily team so that ending there is essentially a big old pr statement but what i can give behavior um props for is actually going through and being more communicative with the community about what they're doing in regards to cheating i don't know whose idea it was to basically keep quiet about dead by daily's involvement in terms of trying to ban cheating and get that situation under control i understand they can only share limited information so that they don't give information to hackers but something like this where they at least tell the community hey we know there's cheaters and we're currently working behind the scenes to help alleviate the effects of the cheating was something i feel like they should have done a long time ago i have no idea why it's taken them this long to basically put out any public statement regarding um just addressing the fact that cheating is existing in their game at all but although I can be critical of their lack of communication and them being so secretive and how unnecessary I feel like a lot of it is because no one was asking for them to give specific details that could be incriminating and just at least address the cheating and let the community know that you're working on it. Um, I do feel as though that they're doing a really good job recently in terms of behavior, really doing a good job catering to the community, listening to community feedback and trying to make changes and address problems that are currently making the game an unfit experience. Obviously, they have to. Dead by Daylight's long lifespan is causing some burnout and they gotta do their best to basically cater to the other people who are still continuing to play their game um and obviously cheating is one of those biggest problems that could easily make a break your game so i think they're at a point where they know they have to work on this and address this otherwise although i'm not necessarily gonna say that it would lead to the game's death it could kill off and turn away a lot of new potential players and existing veteran players and make it really difficult for them um to have a successful game that they've always been going up trajectory wise for the most part so with that being said that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys uh, found something interesting regarding this blog post hopefully i communicate everything in my thoughts perfectly well but if you guys enjoy as always hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new i'm not really appreciate it and thank you guys for watching my name is mac i'll talk to you guys all later peace out